project is a national project that started 30 years ago in Michigan and it was a high school project. They wanted to raise money to help a food shelf and after that point then it, it was a really big hit and then it spread and now it's a project that is actually done internationally. The St. Kate's Empty Bowls project is really a tangible expression of the Catholic intellectual tradition and the social justice teachings of the CSJs. So at St. Kate's, our making events are what make us unique in the sense that we invite anyone from the community to come and participate. We have focus making events where it's a TRW class, but it's there's open events as well, and that allows a lot of people from the community to be involved. I know at Citizen Katie, which is a day where we had alums, families, students, faculty, and staff come, we had a whole mix of people making bowls, and, and the kids especially loved it, and it was really exciting to see different people of different ages and backgrounds do that together. So the power of clay is touch, the communication between one individual and the next. It holds your energy when you touch clay. It really records your finger marks. Uh, and you can feel that directly when you hold, when you pick up a piece of clay. So the goals for the St. Kate's Empty Bowls project are to raise money for Open Arms of Minnesota. So Open Arms is a Twin Cities nonprofit that cooks and delivers food to people with long-term life-threatening illnesses. Um, so illnesses like HIV, AIDS, cancer, ALS, and MS. Our mission is that no one who is sick should go hungry. So at Open Arms we really believe that food is medicine and the people that we serve and deliver meals to aren't able to get better if they don't have the right nutrition um, and the right diet. The partnership between St. Kate's is really great. It's a great way for students to come and community and hear more about Open Arms and what we do. All the donations today are going to come back and support open arms. So specifically, it will support us making from scratch meals that we'll then bring out to our clients. So it'll allow us to purchase all the groceries that goes into our meals. It'll allow us to make the meals. It'll allow us to deliver those meals throughout the Twin Cities to people who are living with life-threatening illness and also their caregivers and dependents. I think the unique thing about this program and this effort is that there are so many different ways students are involved. We have Monica's ceramics class that is coordinating the whole effort as their service learning, um, as part of their ceramics class. And then we have uh, TRW, our intro classes, engaged in making the bowls. We have students coming and having volunteer opportunities to work on bowls. We have nutrition students working on the events um, to help warm the soup and serve the soup. And so all of these ways are different ways students can connect to learning about food insecurity, learning about what we do at St. Kate's to tackle that issue, and what our external community partners like Open Arms do to help with this.